Hello coders, I hope you are coding well. In the previous video, we called post employee API from our React application. And in today's video, we will create get all employees API in our Spring Boot application. So let's get started. So in the Spring Boot application, we will write a method in employee service first. So we will open employee service. And after post employee method, we will start writing a new method. And this new method will return list of employees. And we can name this method as get all employees. And in the body of this method, we will call employee repository. And because we are using JPA, so we have some by default method which we can call to perform the basic operations. And as you can see, we have a find all method here which returns iterable and we can use this method to get the all employees. So let's go back to employee service and here we will write a return statement and we will use employee repository and then we will call find all method which is a returning list of employees. And with this our get all employees method is completed in the employee service. Now we need to write the endpoint to call this method. So we will open employee controller and here after the post employee endpoint, we will start writing a new one and this one will return list of employee and we can name this as get all employees and in the body of this method, we will write a return statement and we will use employee service and we will call get all employees method. And after this, we will import this list class here. And after this, we need to annotate this method with at the rate get mapping annotation to make this a get API. And for the URL, we will set it as slash employees. And with this, our get all employees API is completed. Now we will run this application. And as you can see, our application is up on port 8080 without any errors. Now let's go to the postman and let's call this get all employees API. And in the postman from the request types, we will select the get. And after this, we need to enter the URL, which is HTTP localhost colon 8080. And after that, we need to give the URL of the API, which will be slash API slash employees. So let's write here slash API slash employees. And after this, we will click on this send button to call the API. And as you can see, we got the status to zero. OK, and we can see the employees in the response. And that's it for this video. In the next video, we will call this get all employees API from our react application and we will create UI to show this data to the user.